If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to Downfall Network for more cool content. Watch up everyone, Thrall's Metal here once again. I am the Croc Nick. I am Jam and John. I am Shred Lord. I am Rin. And we are here to respond to your devious choices between bands. We put up a post a little while ago saying, hey, make us choose between two bands, make it devious. I was, I, yep, you guys did not disappoint. Yep. So we're gonna go through these. We're gonna eliminate ones that repeat. So if we see one that repeats, we'll just acknowledge that someone else brought it up, but not make a choice because clearly we already have. So, Jam and John, will you do the honors and start reading? Sure. So the first round of horrible choices <laughs> <laughs> comes from Bryce Talks Metal. The first one is Ted Nugent Solo or Aerosmith? That's easy. Aerosmith. 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 Yep. Yeah, yeah. Aerosmith all the way. But I do enjoy Uncle Ted every now and again. For sure. <laughs> Spring <laughs> early is a great jam. Yeah. Yeah. Early Aerosmith is some yes. of the most underappreciated rock and roll. All right, and then we have Rat or Dockin'. Dockin' all day because George Lynch trumps Warren Demartini. Ah, man. Sorry. I mean, yeah, they I'm... had way more hits. Come on. Round and Round, You're in Love versus like... Well, Round and Round was Rat. Yeah, I know. I'm saying oh. those are the what? Oh, yeah, the I thought you were talking about Dockin'. Yeah. Oh, well, hold on, hold on. Lay yeah. it down. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm forgetting <laughs> Lay It Down. I got to go Rat because my MTV years watching those videos, they, they were a lot of fun. Did Dokken ever do an insurance commercial? Nope. I think not. No. But they did do an antivirus commercial. Oh, yeah, Norton they did. Antivirus. Don Dokken mm. did a lot of pectoral exercises. I guess I'd say Dokken just because I like to say Rockin' with Dokken. Rockin' with Dokken. That's a cool song for, you know, My Mirror on Street Part 3. Yeah, yeah. Dream Warriors. Yeah. Dream yeah. Warriors. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great movie. Heather Landcap, I would touch. <laughs> if she let me, I asked her politely. Please. Like to this day, she's 83 years old. So you got a chance. It's true. All right. <laughs> then we have uh, Gehenna or Ancient. I'm not super familiar with Gehenna. I do know Ancient, and I do like some of their earlier material. So just because I know that band versus the other Ancient, I know neither. So I know neither. I uh, pass. <laughs> <laughs> You're making the shit up. I think. Uh, then we have loudness or anthem. I'm not super familiar with anthem. Loudness. I do know loudness. I know loudness. We'll go loudness. Loudness. I mean, loudness is fun. Loudness. Yes, have some. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, last but not least, from Mr. Bryce Talks Metal, uh, we have Ozzy Solo or Ozzy Sabbath. Sabbath. Oh, what the. I gotta go Sabbath. I love and the solo stuff, but Sabbath. 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 What are you, what are you gonna do? You all right? You all right, Shred? It pains me, Sabbath. I, yeah. It's hard. That's not an e Honestly, that's not an easy decision. <laughs> I know. That's not an easy choice. I, I, you must choose. I did. Sazi. <laughs> there you go. Sazi. Sazi. We have. Ring choose Sazi. If anything Ozzy's ever done except for Born to Be Wild with Miss Piggy. What about Scream? Yeah. Yeah. In the song with Buster Rhymes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we yeah. forgot about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and that Pepper's shoot he just rivers. did with Post Malone, too. Yeah, well, that yeah. can go, too. Like, right into a wood chipper. Mm -hmm. You don't like Posty Dog? I don't. Oh, okay. I think that is... The most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I like post cereal. Yeah, post cereal is pretty solid. Sure There's some the Oreos. Stuff. Yeah, those Oreos. are. Oreos. He should yeah. tattoo Ozzy on his cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's there's, coming. There's it's, still real estate. And not yeah. his face cheek. Yeah, <laughs> it might be there. So moving on, we have Sam Wilkes. These are specific questions for individuals. First up, Necrotic Nick, Deicide or Bolt Thrower? Man, Sam, I liked you too. <laughs> um, ah, ball thrower. I'm sorry. The the DSI contractually obligated albums are terrible, and ball thrower was consistent as hell. Gore guts versus suffocation. Suffocation. That one's pretty easy. I like gore guts, but suffocation's suffocation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And finally, we have reached creator oh. versus Sodom. Oh. Oh. 
Ah, <sighs> Sodom, by a little bit. My man, you came around since we last the, the, talked. I, I love Crater. Hey. I love Crater. There, hey. I love Crater, but Sodom just has a better discography. Got him. Sodom by a tip. <laughs> just a tip. Sometimes that is the definition of it. Kind of nudged in there. What are we talking about? We're talking about moving on to Jam and John. John. Pantera versus Lamb of God. Pantera. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah, I, hope that, I hope that. I hope that was. That should have been like a reflex, like blinking. Yeah. Okay. Testament versus Exodus. This is difficult, but I've, I've been thinking about this all week. Uh, Testament. I think you made the right choice. Yeah. I would go there too. It just. It's fucking Testament. And finally, Immolation versus Cannibal Corpse. This is where John dies. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see Scanners? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> this is not fair. There's a couple of not fair things on here. Oh, fuck, man. I don't even know who I picked. I can't even I know. I know. Uh, God damn it. Just choose. I'm gonna. But it's God, it. but I'm gonna totally say. Judged. I'm gonna say Cannibal Corpse. They've got more in their catalog. Do they? No, he chose it. He chose it. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> so the next batch here is for Shredlord, and first up we have Municipal Waste versus Warbringer. This was tough, but I'll choose Warbringer. I find I listen to Warbringer more than I listen to Municipal Waste, and that's why I made the decision. Yeah. I'm just being honest to what I listen to, right? I love both bands. I like both really, bands. I'm, Absolutely. Two when, when we saw Municipal Waste. Municipal Waste brings uh. it live. I haven't seen Warbringer live yet. <laughs> when it comes to choosing two bands, I try to revert to when it's tough I try to revert to what do I find myself listening more that's that's an honest yeah. honest way to yeah. do it yep. next up we have Anthrax versus Annihilator <sighs> okay so I really like Annihilator even though they have good album bad album good album bad album when they're bad, bad they bad are album. bad <laughs> um, and I never listen I listen to Anthrax but not a lot of Anthrax so oh, I geez. recognize that Anthrax is the better band overall that has a much stronger catalog than Annihilator incoming but I find that I listen <laughs> to Annihilator albums like you know Alice in Hell and that kind of stuff more than I listen to Anthrax albums so there you go okay well you're wrong but <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then finally we have Obituary versus Autopsy. Easy one, Obituary for me. Sorry. I mean, Pretty it'd be easy. tough, but yeah, Obituary's awesome. Yeah. And then this one is for all of us. Ooh. Blind Guardian versus Halloween. I don't want to pick either. Yeah. Did, did I, don't, we, I don't like Power Metal. We, I don't either. At all. Halloween. I'll go Halloween just because... Uh, Blind Guardian is pretty much all Tolkien, so I can just watch or read Lord of the Rings, and I know everything they're going to bring up. <laughs> Halloween, sure. It's I a fun logo. Can't name a song. I mean, my, my choice is neither, and yep. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't like power metal at all. Uh, their name's funny and kitschy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's yep. Kitschy. If I had to go with one, I guess it would be also be Halloween. There you go. See? And then next we have Merciful Fate versus King Diamond. I'm going to go on record and say I don't like his vocals in either, but the music is better in Merciful Fate. Correct. Also, yes. He's had some very strong solo albums, if I may say so myself. Yeah. Okay? Some very strong solo albums. So, with that being said, I will bring the black box to the altar and go Merciful Fate. I respect the man who paints his face but does not shave his mustache. <laughs> <laughs> he is Cesar Romero of metal. <laughs> <laughs> that is valid. It's true. <laughs> I would say Merciful Fate. Yeah. All right. Or anything, anytime King Diamond opens his mouth. The Volbeat song he did. I forgot he did that. Yes, he did. Yeah. Oh my god. Room 23 or room 44 or room 16 something. He's had all sorts of people on those albums. Yeah. yeah Barney. Bullbeat. And, and then King Diamond. Hello, yeah. King. Come on in. He had Millie Petroza from Creator, too. Yeah. I, King Diamond, do what you want. Yeah. God bless you. You got cool hats. I love your sideburns. And then finally, um, The Wiggles versus Torso. I can tell you which one sounds like a more fun time if, if you're into that sort of thing. Torso. Torso. That's my vote. Yeah, obviously, torso. I, I don't think. With a name like that, it can't even compete with the Wiggles. Were the Wiggles the Beatles fake movie with Eric Idle in it? Who the f 
It's Eric Idle. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. I've I'm, never cut a man before. <laughs> no, no, that's all, I totally understand. I totally understand. Monty Python? Oh, duh. Jesus. I was talking about the Ruddles. Remember the Ruddles? Oh, yeah. yeah. Was, I don't know. Wow. I, uh, torso. <laughs> torso love making. There we go. Torso intercourse. I don't know. That wasn't, that wasn't hard. Romantic coitus. Almost got violent there, though. <laughs> Yeah, so I would have testified in your band. So Sam, yeah, we're all doing good, although we're doing less good after having to pick some of these bands. So. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Next in line, we have House of Klaus. That is fun to say. I'm gonna House of Klaus. Three times fast. No. Okay. <laughs> no. They must serve cheese and beer. And big boobeded women. That served the beer and Boobity. cheese. Boobity. 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 Like Boobity. I like Boobity. it. Boobity. Boobity. So, Mr. Big boobeted women in the House of Klaus. <laughs> That's my solo album. <laughs> House of Klaus asks us, Morbid Angel or Bolt Thrower? Morbid Angel. <sighs> Morbid Angel. Uh, Morbid Angel for me, but God, Bolt Thrower is really good. Uh, all right. And the deciding factor is, who has written a worse album and Bolt Thrower's worse is not even close <laughs> to Morbid Angel's worst. I, so I'm gonna go with Bolt Thrower. Wow. I, I will admit that that never didn't happen. You're imagining I, it. Nope. 2011 was a dark year. Yep. Rin, can I get it some was, support from the other side of the table, was, please? Where, where, where'd you go? <laughs> there, yeah, there hi. Hi. <laughs> Morbid Angel. Absolutely, thank you. I throw no bolts. Sometimes. Sure. All right, okay. and then next in line from House of Klaus is unfortunate because I don't know the answer. Megadeth or Testament? Uh, yeah. uh, uh, can we just groan for a couple of seconds? I mean, that's just an acceptable answer. I, I'll take that. I think this is easy for me, and it has nothing to, to do against one band. It's just everyone knows that another one of these bands is one of my all-time favorite bands so right megadeth for me for sure as much as i love testament megadeth is one of my all-time 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 favorites and testament's pretty high up there too but I... still megadeth's in rarefied air for me so i'm gonna say testament for me i, I i'm gonna I, agree testament yeah, yeah I, I i just think they've been on a tear here lately they were on a tear to begin with Mm -hmm. And that was a band I felt like I discovered on my own. No one. When the new Megadeth album drops. I mean, hey, if it's badass, it'll be badass. I mean, Testament already killed it this year. They did fucking kill it this year. They absolutely killed it this year. I'm going to surprise everyone and say Megadeth. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I actually expected Testament. I, I did too. I... But here we are. <laughs> <laughs> so much confusion. Oh my. Well. There we have it. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then he says, Lamer got our Pantera, of course. Pantera. You know, that was it's Pantera. To me. Pantera. It's Pantera. It's Pantera. I, yeah. I, what, what can you so. Without Pantera, there probably wouldn't have been a Lamer guy. I doubt it. We, Thank all, you. we all grew up with Pantera very yep. prevalent in our, yep. in our young lives. So, yep. yeah. Yep. That's an easy one. So, thank you, House of Klaus. Again, your name is fun to say. <laughs> Big Appreciate boobly. it. Big boobly. Big boobly serving the boobly cheese. Boobly women, boobly cheese, boobly beers, boobly good times. Bibbity bobbity bib. Bibbidi bobbidi boobly times. Bibbidi bobbidi bibbly boo. But we digress like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on to Trevor, and he has two here for us, and we're getting a little proggy now. So we have Haken versus Caligula's Horse. Haken. Haken. I love both bands. I do too. But yeah. Haken but, but, is. But Caligula's incredible. Horse, their new album was <laughs> not as strong as it should have been. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel the songs are not as good with the guys in the band. I don't know. We have to we have to educate. I, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, you know, he hasn't listened to yet. But yep. Yeah. Haken, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> May the Haken be upon oh, you. I'm Haken. You need an aspirin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Haken for some bacon. Oh, the bacon. And then we have. Periphery versus Tesseract. And that's easy for me to say Tesseract. Tesseract. Also easy for me to say Tesseract. Now, I will state that Periphery musically is 
Anytime beyond, I get a copy beyond, of vocals, it's really yeah, good. Yeah, beyond nice. talent. Right. Anytime I get the instrumental, I cannot take Spencer Satello's voice. I just. They're warped tour ass vocals. <laughs> yeah. I think some people could even say, well, Tesseract and Periphery are kind of the same as vocals, and they're not. No. Because Daniel Tompkins can sing. Yeah. He, ha he doesn't strain it. It doesn't sound like. It doesn't sound like a fucking uh, Muppet. Throw whatever emo band you want to throw yeah. out there with a name that's actually a poem or whatever. I never understood why they would do that over such awesome riffs, but yeah. whatever. You gotta get laid somehow. <laughs> I'm more familiar with Periphery. I like it. It's all right. I mean, again, I have the, the first album as an instrumental, and that just kicks ass. It just, the, why, do you, why do you sing? And the second album. What do you got to sing? Yeah. Just I'm playing in 712. Why am I singing? Josh with no name. A man named Josh asked. Creator or testament? Testament. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Testify. Love, love creator. Buddy or bread with that, Josh. Cannibal Corpse or Bolt Thrower? Cannibal, 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 cannibal corpse. corpse. Yeah, I, I love Bolt Thrower, but that's like my first death metal love. Yeah. I'm got to get more informed with Bolt Thrower. Everybody's like, who's better, Bolt oh, Thrower yeah. or Jesus? You, well, you'd love him. <laughs> Bolt you'd love Thrower, him. probably. But it is. Yeah, no, that is the right Cannibal Corpse? I, no, Cannibal Corpse. Cannibal Corpse. It's better. Yeah. They don't have a thrower grinder, do they? Bolt grinder probably sounds better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How big is his neck? Not big enough. Important questions. Christ on a cracker. Opeth or Dream Theater? Joe? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did I say your name? I should... Shred? Are you, you alright over there, bud? You, you doing good? Does anybody know what to do in the Opeth. event of seizure? I'm done. I'm Ooh, done. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 I did not see that coming. You betrayed the shreddy wow. job guy. <laughs> I'm gonna say Opeth as well. Opeth. I'm yeah, that's what Opeth. I'm gonna say. Yeah. But, yeah. But I'm I shocked. Can't, well, yeah. Are you okay? He's, I, he's okay. not thinking he's physically. He looks. might have the vid. Oh shit. You're gonna cry. He's sad. I mean, I, I feel like <laughs> I just stabbed someone I loved in the back. Was oh. it the guy that plays the keyboards? Because you probably stabbed him. <laughs> Jordan Rudis. Butter your toast with my fucking tears, Josh. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of your blood too. Can we move on? <laughs> <Fuck> you guys. <laughs> Immortal or Mayhem? Immortal. Immortal. Yeah, Immortal. I mean, I know Abath is Shred Spirit Animal. Did Immortal eat any band members? Not yet. No stabbings either. Not to think of no, Yeah, no stabbings either. You gotta, have you watched that? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's like, the Culkin it's a good time. Kid. Yeah. Yep. The Culkin Kid. Yeah, 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 that's right. What Ventilated 26 times. Slapped the piss out of his brother when I was 12. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Immortal, what the hell? <laughs> Slayer or Megadeth? Megadeth. Megadeth. Say what? Mm -hmm. uh, um. <laughs> Slayer death. Megadeth. That hurt. I don't even know who you are. Anymore. Oh. All of you oh. people. <laughs> you people. And I'm using that as derogatory as it can be. <laughs> Slayer. Slayer. You. Josh with no last name. You've caused the rift. <laughs> it's been a death in the family. I think it was all of us and Rin survived. Shit. I, I, I just did. Butter your bread. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. <laughs> Thanks a lot, you cool. mother. We'll talk about you in therapy. I've, I've known this dude 25 years, and now I just don't know anymore. Next in line is Noah Earls. These are for all of us. Was it priest versus maiden? Mm, maiden. Maiden. I thought about this. Maiden. Yep. Rin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I will go with Maiden as well. <laughs> yes, Maiden, there, you go. there yes. it is. Maiden for sure. And Rin is at a solid yes, so. Death versus Bolt Thrower. Death. 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 I, I, death, I guess. I guess. I, yeah. <laughs> Schuler. Schuler? We're going to. She'll be her. You're going to come over one night this week and we're going to just jam music. And it'll be glorious. Yep, it'll be wonderful. 
and you'll glaze each other's nipples with exotic oils. And then we'll choose Ozzy era Sabbath versus Dio era Ozzy. Sabbath. Ozzy, for sure. Although, oh. although I will admit to liking. No, I love the Dio, Dio era. stuff, but it's not the Ozzy yeah, stuff. It's, that's true. Right. What do you say? He's having troubles there. What are you gonna say? Just because there's more of it, Ozzy. Attaboy. Peer pressure is good sometimes. <laughs> yep. Smoke it. Obituary versus deicide. Obituary. Obituary. Yes, obituary. Love deicide, but obituary. John Tardy should have a upset on cross burned <laughs> into his forehead. <laughs> obituary. He should read books on tape, too. It's true. I'm that like, would be amazing. Danielle Steele romance novels read by <laughs> John Tardy. Dude, that would be brilliant. It's almost as good as Fifty Shades of Grey read by Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> <laughs> Crash your eyes in the moonlight. There I was. My penis was erect hard. I quivered at the thought of him touching my inner thigh. Thank you, Gilbert. I don't care. <laughs> dark Tranquility versus At the Gates. At I the love gates. Dark Tranquility, but uh, uh, it's ATG. At the Gates. At the Gates. ATG. For sure, all ATG. day. At the Gates. At the Gates. Yeah. This is an interesting one. Bathory versus Celtic Frost. Ah, this, this, is, this is tough because when they were at their shittiest, they were really at their shittiest. And when they were at their best, man, they were at their best. But I'm going to go Bathory. Ooh. Yeah, to be honest, I think I like Bathory more than Celtic Frost. I'm gonna go like Celtic it. Frost. Shut up! Shut your goddamn mouth. I'll go Celtic Frost. I'll go Celtic Frost as well. Good for you, man. Boston Celtic Frost. Hey. Morbid Angel versus Suffocation. I <laughs> can't. I can't. I, I've been thinking about this to. all day. I'd... I'll go Morbid Angel. I'm gonna go Suffocation. I, it, they're almost two separate schools of I, thought, though. I'm gonna go Morbid Angel just because I think there's more variety in the albums, excluding the fucking it dumpster never fire. Never happened. Never happened. <laughs> it's a bad dream. <laughs> then you woke up and it was over. <laughs> Morbid Angel, you heard it here, folks. Grave versus Unleashed. Grave. I don't know either of these. Yeah. So. We saw grave. Unleashed recently, yeah. and they're awesome. Yeah. Some of the dumbest lyrics I've ever heard in some of their songs. Also true. But Grave is Story generally pretty mm -hmm. awesome. There's some questionable stuff in the, the mid to late 90s. But they they're awesome. They can't all be singers, though. They can't. <laughs> the one everyone likes. Okay, good answer. Right all right, right on. Testament versus Overkill. Testament. 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 I love Overkill. Hardest love the working spirit band. of Overkill. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. about to release their 20th album whenever yeah, that next one comes out. They're always working. Jesus. 20 albums and 17 minutes of music. <laughs> <laughs> and Jason Bittner was a good addition. Yes. Testament. Testament. Yes. Yes. Testament. Testament. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Cannibal Corpse versus Cannabis Corpse. Oh, Cannibal Corpse. There's no Cannabis Corpse without Cannibal Corpse. You gotta True. go Cannibal yeah. Corpse. Yeah. Cannibal. Cannabis is awesome. Although I do enjoy Cannabis Corpse. Cannibal Corpse? Cannibal Corpse? Creator versus Sodom. To everybody, to everybody now. You know where I stand. It's Sodom. It's also Sodom for me. I don't. I don't. We'll get you there. We'll get you. Agent Orange, listen to it right oh, now. Oh, that's amazing. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Like now. <laughs> Immolation versus incantation. That's uh, not fair. God. That's really fucking not fair. Dude, I might as well just flip a coin, honestly. I, uh, be, yeah, because so I similar. I adore Creepy logos. I adore both of these bands. Seen them both live multiple times. Yep. Honestly, it could it could flip just given the day. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go with incantation because I was jamming at the day and I absolutely Enjoyed the shit out of it, and that new album already sounds like it's gonna be killer. But my love for Immolation is mm -hmm. giant. I'm gonna go Immolation. I and that's uh, and again, flip a fucking coin. Can't. I'm more familiar with Immolation. Immolation's pretty badass. Yes, so. it is. Winner chicken dinner. I've listened to little bits of each band, but not enough to make a decision. So I will not say anything and move on. <laughs> Fair. 
to Ex Mortis versus Warbringer. I love Ex Mortis, but every song kind of just feels like something for Conan to shred over, which, goddamn, he's good. It's great. Mm -hmm. But Warbringer knows how to write some incredible yes. thrash songs. Yep. Yeah, the last one of the best. Too. Yep. That last yep. Warbringer album was, a, was, was great, a beast. So. Yep. So Warbringer. Warbringer. Okay. All right. Yes. Last album was good. Yes. yes. Saxon versus Accept. I'll admit I'm not super familiar with all of Accept's stuff, but I do know Saxon, and I have really enjoyed like earlier Saxon albums, so I'll probably just go with Saxon because I'm more familiar. I'm going to give that thumbs up and be quiet thing because, <laughs> yeah, I'm not overly familiar with either. I'm going to hold it down for all the London leather boys and go Accept! Balls to the wall. Man! <laughs> Can't look at that cover. Udo Schenkenschneider. Schnookenschneider. Udo Durkenschneider. Schnitzelfinger. Butter. Oh my. <laughs> All right. Him. Uh, he also suggested we do an album versus album sometime, and I'm totally on board with that one. Yeah. That I should too. be agonizing and fun for yeah. people watching. So thank you, Noah, for that. Appreciate it. All right, this one is for all of us from Joseph Weeb. Weeb? I don't know how to pronounce your last name. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. Sorry, bud. But I love the Pickle Rick. I do, the too. The Pickle Rick rules. So he gave us Candlemas versus Paradise Lost. I, I love Speaking both. of recent banger albums, Paradise yeah. Lost's last yeah, album dude. was a banger. Yeah. It was I gotta go with banger. Paradise Lost as well. Mm -hmm, me too. I will, too. They've been on a tear here lately. And we have Dark Throne versus Immortal. This one's a little bit tougher because I do love Dark Throne. Pretty much every phase of their career is interesting. Immortal. I know Immortal is going to be yours. I might go, I, actually I'm going to go Dark Throne. I, I enjoy Dark Throne. They're awesome. Their newest album is absolutely disgusting. That's true. I think Immortal. I'm more familiar with Dark Throne. There you go. Yeah. And then finally we have Judas Priest versus Black Sabbath and I I'm still have to go with Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. It's pretty much anybody versus Black Sabbath. Yeah. It's yeah. probably going to be yeah, Black Sabbath. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be Black Sabbath. There's there's a long time left for that one. So the Hex Process asked us, Unicorns Killed My Girlfriend versus Blood on the Dance Floor. Now, both of these bands may be the greatest bands since the Beatles and the Rolling Stones ever to come along. Probably better. Probably better. Classics. Um, they got that one guy, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was in that one yeah, thing yeah, with, yeah, the, yeah. with the other guy yeah, and the, exactly. the way he plays and, the thing. Uh, is, uh, yeah. It's a lute, right? I, yeah. No, it's an ocarina. Oh, right. got it. Totally. Yeah. Like in Zelda. Hey, yes. ocarina. All right. Yeah. One la catula palihia ocarina. Oh, shit, man. Yeah, dude. I wonder if they were in the same band. Anyway. Unicorns killed my girlfriend versus blood on the dance floor. That's like choosing between your left and your right arm. And, and honestly, I'm not comfortable making a decision because I feel like if I choose one over the other, then I'm pretty much denying half of my existence. Yeah, I hate to see you do that. Are yeah. unicorns killed my girlfriend less rapey than blood on the dance floor? Because that's the only thing I know about that band or person or Wait, there was a rape fashion. Member? Oh yeah, yeah and... the blood on the dance floor guys uh, likes to go after underage girls. Oh yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah. Uh, unicorns killed my girlfriend yep. yeah. for the win. Yep. Yeah. Unicorns yep. killed my girlfriend. Fucking with Impaled a Impaled her right in her gash. Yeah. Ripped her in half. Terrible. Hmm. Blood everywhere. This I... question is racist. <laughs> the non-rapey band. Yeah, that's always the good one to pick. Don't rape unless no, you're role-playing. No rape. <laughs> <laughs> Stick none, to the script, though. None rape. None, none. We, none. Okay, so, Damage Inc. Network, three days ago, asked to all of us, mostly them, Slipknot or Mushroom Head? Slipknot. 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 Mushroom Head is the greatest band that, I can't even lie, it's terrible, <laughs> terrible horse, horse shit. Yeah, it's horrible, horrible music. I, especially here lately. I... Metallica or Anthrax? Metallica. As much as I don't like Metallica. 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 Well, I don't like recent, anything in the last 20 years. I, Anthrax. Anthrax. Sorry, wow. you get the you got the first four for Metallica, and then, uh, you know. Things happen. Things did happen. Horrible things happen. Damn your eyes, Damage Incorporated, which is obviously <laughs> an Anthrax song. Metallica. 
I love anthrax. Van Halen or Van Hagar? Van Halen. Van Halen. There is only Van Halen. <sighs> apples and oranges. It is apples and oranges, but I Van Halen. Van Halen. Van Halen. Sammy Hagar is 163 years old. And Still he looks damn ass. good. Yeah. David Lee Roth is 22 and he <laughs> <laughs> looks terrible. Oof. And he's punishing people with his Vegas show. Yes. Yes. No, it's been canceled. But oh, God, God bless the Van Halens. Yes. <laughs> bon Scott or Brian Johnson? Bon Scott. Bon Scott. Bon Scott. It would have to be Bon, but Brian. Let them carry on. Yeah. Let them carry on. <laughs> no keep writing the same Brian. album but over bond. and over again. Yep. Would yep. there have been a Back in Black without Brian Johnson? I love all four of ACDC songs. They, mm -hmm. A lot the of dynamics, a lot maybe. of intricate time signatures. <laughs> the drums, yeah, paradiddles. <laughs> Diddle fiddle. Triple picking, harmonics, tapping. Yeah, ACDC is cool. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Dirty, dirty person. Huh? Pink Floyd or Rush? Ooh. Oh my god. <sighs> England or Canada? The Queen or the Queen? Maple syrup or beans poured all over everything. <laughs> <sighs> syrup is delicious. It is delicious. It's delicious. I gotta go Pink Floyd. I, I, I just... I don't... I don't know. I have like just a huge thing for Pink Floyd. I love Rush. I own a ton of Rush albums, but Pink Floyd. I don't know. It's just it should resonate with anyone that just likes music. Can I say both? Can I? No. No, I have to choose. Uh, this is. Uh, I've been sitting in silence, pondering this entire time. Fight to the death. <laughs> There's a lot more guys in Pink Floyd. I'm gonna have to say Rush. I can't stray away. Rush for me as well. Yeah. Floyd. Pink fucking Floyd. We are a table divided. That's well, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> we're okay. I promise we're okay. We're not. So now we have Metal Mayhem 666, and you have quite the list here, and we're going to go through them all. But you have quite the list. Quite the list. And many things in here are unfair, and screw you for that. It was the devil that did it. So... Uh, off the, the bat. devil made me do it, do it. Oh, if anyone catches that reference, I'll love you. Sorry, I'm a piece of shit. Go on. You, you, <laughs> you really are. I'm not gonna go into yeah, why. No, we're, we're just gonna. Stick I'm gonna leave that. that out. John's <laughs> upset because he saw where my fudge was made. So, <laughs> so we, we, so here, I'll just, I'll just I'll just tell the damn story. So. So uh, we did a bunch of these and decided we were going to take a break and let the camera charge and smoke a cigarette or whatever. And I, I came up the stairs, and one of us was standing at the top of the stairs with his shorts around his ankles and his butthole <laughs> spread apart. Gaped. And I saw his kidneys... Breathing in the summer moon. <laughs> and I tell you... It was quite a moon. <laughs> I have to work really hard to get that out of my brain. I don't know why I do these things. <laughs> Could be the devil. Showed me his butthole. The devil made me do it, do it. You will it. never be able to say the word butthole without thinking about that. <laughs> I love to call people buttholes. But Not anymore. <laughs> it may be over. He may have killed it. <laughs> may have killed a butthole. With a butthole. So, Metal Mayhem 666 says, I guess this is to all of us, Faith No More or Mordred? I don't know who Mordred is, but it's Faith No More. I don't know who Mordred is, but it's Faith, it's Faith it's No More. Faith No More against the Beatles. We're going to have to fight. Yeah. Yeah, really. I would still take Faith No More. Uh, I would. We'd have to fight. But I, we, we, would, we would fight. There'd be a fight. fight. All right. All right, so next one. Screw you for this one as well. Suffocation or Immolation? Suffocation. Suffocation. Just because I don't know too much about it. Immolation. I love suffocation. I love suffocation. But, I yeah. love suffocation. But... Immolation. <laughs> Im that, that hurts. Immolation. The suffocation, Emancipation Proclamation. Hey. Well said. Exodus or Slayer? Slayer. Slayer, Slayer. yeah. Slayer. I mean, I... Yeah. 
Slayer. Yeah. Sorry, Axis. Yeah. They understand. They had Gary Holt too. They probably had both there. Right. Yeah. Yep. Ozzy Osbourne or Ronnie James Dio? I'm assuming solo careers. Yeah. And it's Ozzy. 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 Alice in Chains or Nirvana? Alice in Chains. 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 Son of a bitch bastard, you son of a bitch bastard. So this is an easy one for you, Ren. I, you know, <laughs> Sonic Youth. No, I don't, I don't like them. No, I don't like them either. I guess Alice in Chains, you prick. <laughs> it's tough. It, it is. is tough. I, we, yes. uh, we all, you know, we all grew up in this Alice. era, so. No, they're wrong. Nirvana in Chains. And then we have M.O.D. or S.O.D. Ah, oh, great. S.O.D. I really SOD. like S.O.D. Billy Milano is nothing without Scott Ian. That. There you go. Yep. And that says it all. Yeah. Cannibal Corpse or Mortification? The Corpse. Cannibal Corpse. Cannibal Corpse. Yeah, Mortification's cool. Yep. I mean, Christian death metal, that's actually good. But yep. it, you're up against Cannibal Corpse, sorry, you lose. Dying Fetus or Cattle Decapitation? Uh, cattle Decap. Really... Uh, it's cattle tough, decap. but cattle decap for me as well. I gotta go dying fetus. I love cattle decap, especially their current run. Oh, dude, but, Death Atlas is. But dying fetus is consistently brutal as hell, and they always have a riff. Dying fetus. Hmm. Well, fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Table divided. Uh, merciful fate or venom? Venom. Just kidding. Merciful fate. I'm gonna go with venom. I don't have to hear. King Diamond Sing. Yeah. Oh, stop. And for that reason, I'm going to go Venom as well. Stop. I really can't. <laughs> Merciful Fate, because you can hear the instruments. Hey. <laughs> valid. Also valid. That's mean. I'm sorry, Lucifer. <laughs> sorry. All right, so Guar or Green Jelly? Guar. Oh, mother. <laughs> guar, dude. <laughs> I mean, you, this guar, is, I mean it's guar. guar. It's, it's Guar. It's, it's Guar, but really? dude, Green Jelly is such a good time. They are. They're a good time. Are, but but Guar is always a good time, yeah, too. Guar's always They've been a good, good time for forever. Ever since I heard Slaughterama, I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> if Green Jelly had a Slymenstra hymen, we might have a problem. It's gotta be Guar. It's gotta be. Gotta be. But, God, I love <laughs> Green Jelly. And Jello too. Alrighty. <laughs> Black Flag or Dead Kennedys? Oh. oh. Yeah. I, I plead the fifth uh, because I don't really listen to either one of them. So I'll let you boys. I'm going to say Dead Kennedys because I love the Dead Kennedys. I love the Dead They're Kennedys. They're fucking good time. The Bedtime for Democracy yep. is one of my favorite punk albums. I love Henry Rollins, though. I do, too. I like his solo. His first solo record was solid. Yeah, I think I have that one. Yeah. I'm sorry, Hank. Dead Kennedys. But, God, damaged. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Six pack. No TV party for us, huh? TV party, but then you got <laughs> police truck and... Mm-hmm. Uh, Too drunk to fornicate. Iconic logos. Yes. Mm-hmm. In fact, when we uh, went to MDF last year, we ate in a restaurant that was... Was it Rad's? Rad's yeah, Pizza? Rad's yeah, it Pizza. It was the Black yeah, Flag dude. logo. It was really good. I might have to say Black Flag. Ooh. Wow. Did I say Dead Kennedys already? You did say Dead Kennedys. You did. did. I did. I'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. All right. Uh, Marilyn Manson or Rob Zombie? Yeah. Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie. It, yeah. I'm, Rob Zombie. I've I'm never been a Manson fan. Her. Oh, Rin's out to one. Son of a... Really? Yeah. Are we talking... So we just play. Rob Zombie? It, it, and Marilyn Manson? I would state yes because... Someone else on here said white zombie, and there is a fucking difference. There's a big difference. Yeah. Because I've never cared if, for Marilyn Manson, I go white if zombie. We're yeah, I've, I've never liked Marilyn no. Manson. Maybe like two, three songs, but even then... If we're talking Rob Zombie's solo career for, versus Marilyn Manson's entire career, Marilyn Manson. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, so next we have White Zombie or Pantera. 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 I mean, Pantera, yeah. Blast well, I mean, Exorcist rules. Yep, yep. White Zombie was really... I, I wish he hadn't gone solo, to be honest. But, I mean, what are you going to do? He's doing what he wants to do. I understand, but... Yeah. He's got to fly. White huh? Zombie kicked ass. And to go into a solo career that was... Meh. 
you can make two Meh. decent records out of all six or seven of yeah, these right. records. Except for Educated Horses, that's a raging piece of turds. Yep. All right. So this next one, Tool or Primus? Now, Primus. I would like to I would like Primus. to segue and say these are two separate schools of thought. Very. Primus and Tool are nothing like each other. In fact, Primus is You're killing me. Primus. There, there's not. They're in a league. It, except for Les Claypool's side projects, there's nothing really that sounds like Primus. Fucking period. And that's why I say Primus, <clears throat> the, because I, Tool. I love Tool. Tool had their day though. They had their day. The, they should have stopped at Lateralis. I, well, I said it. Some Primuses get a little weird too. Yeah, they, they do. Did. But I the chocolate factory. Thing. That was yeah, that, that was, was terrible. Dude, I saw that live in uh, which would change at, at Red Rocks, and that was really strange. I but, love both these bands. Yeah, I I absolutely did. They were huge in terms of me in high school and growing up and just being exposed to weird music. But I gotta go with Tool uh, by just a little bit. Uh, namely because I got to see them live so many times. Those live shows were otherworldly. And when Tool was putting out great stuff, it was mind-blowing. And that's yeah, true. That's, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, but again, Primus is amazing too, but... Yeah. Well, once again, they're separate schools of thought. <laughs> <laughs> Primus. Yeah. Yep. I... I want to see Maynard and Les do something together. Be weird. I would. I would like to see. <laughs> Cla- yeah, dude, that that would be it's, interesting. Just whine and slapping. Yep. Fist my butthole, rip my butthole, feel it <laughs> fucking tear. Like Finger f- the old mother, leave Stop. my cover <laughs> bare. He's not, no. Give it to me, sloppy. Give it to me there. Sorry. <laughs> Why he did that with an English accent, I'm not sure. Brent? <laughs> you wanted to sound classy. DRI or suicidal tendencies? Uh, suicidal. Jeez, suicidal. But, I, man, I do enjoy DRI, and having seen them live last year actually kicked that up a little bit for me, too. DRI. I love suicidal, but hmm. DRI fucking rules. ST! ST. There you have it. Now, here's a throwback. <laughs> <laughs> Cold Chamber or Kitty? Wow. I feel like they're one and the same, except one has a female vocalist and one has a male vocalist. Can we choose neither? I've seen them both live. Yep. Well, no, no, I haven't seen Kitty. I skipped them. I saw Kitty. Oh, one's Canadian. With Disturbed. Yep. I'm not proud of all the shows I've been to. (laughs) But you've seen some shows. I've seen some shows. I saw Letters to Cleo. Wow. Wow? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, I'd have to say... Cold Chamber. Kitty, Kitty's selling point, let's be honest. Yep. Kitty's Canadian selling ladies. point was the yep. yep was the fact that they were also hot females. With their flappy heads. Yep. Yep. Um, That's racist. You are racist. <laughs> although although the album they released for their comeback, right? Didn't they yeah, do like they a had, comeback? They, it wasn't bad. They, they did a it, Floyd cover. Yep. And, like hell. And oh, now that, that was the second album, wasn't it? No, that was like. That was the and Morgan Lander does have some pipes on her. Yeah. They, you know, their first album, they were 16. Yep. 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 What, what do you want? And I'll give him props for that as well. Um, the Cole Chambers' Cole first Chamber. album, Des was 58. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> the goth makeup. And he had a big truck. That. Yeah, big, big, big truck. Clock. Yep. And suede and. It all sucks. And TikTok and. I love that first Cole Chamber I do, too. I, do too. I really dumb. do. It is it, it's so simple. Stupid. But I love uh, it. Seventeen words and the whole album. Yep. yep. The, the album cover is awful. I, I don't understand what the hell's going. Ice cream truck full. Well, of they got the stupid. same lady that was on the cover of the first black. The drummer song. had a meth problem. No. Remember when we saw him in Toledo? Yes. Yes. And he passed out yes. on the snare drum. Pal. Well, yeah. All right. Cold chamber. Cold chamber. All right. uh, here's an interesting one. Prong or biohazard? Prong. Oh. Oh. Ew. Oh. Prong. Uh, Tommy Victor is a riff lord. Underrated riff lord. Uh, prong. Billy's an underrated riff lord. He is? Mm, I think Prong's had... Well, at least they have like better albums now. I don't know, though, man. I, did, I don't listen to a lot of Biohazard, though, too. Man. I'm DFL, down for life. Biohazard, Brooklyn, New York, in your face. Brooklyn, New York, <laughs> hardcore. New York, hardcore. Hey. Uh, Death Angel or Testament? 
Testament. I mean, Test- it's Testament, mm-hmm. but that's still tough. Death Angel fucking rolls. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Testament. A table united. Tankard or destruction? Destruction. Uh, Tankard I've, is. I've, I've okay. never heard Tankard. Tankard is the anthrax of Germany when the, they had their uh, Teutonic Four. And they they love beer. And they sing about it in every single song. Oh. And it gets kind of old. And some of their stuff is really bad. Some of their stuff's pretty fun, though. It's pretty good. But For that, I'll say destruction. Destruction's good. I pick Tankard. You, sure. You beer drinking motherfucker. I don't. Them guys. Cool. Yeah. Uh, then we have Zentrix or Toxic. I'll say Zentrix. Zentrix. Yeah. I don't like the vocals in Toxic, but I do like it the guitar player. It recently turned me on to Zentrix, and I, I enjoyed it a lot. Zantac. <laughs> 75 milligram. I, Boy, after last night, that white chili dude, I was up for a while. Yeah. An unfortunate heartburn. All right. Razor or Sacrifice? I really like Razor, especially... Um, Oh, it was the last album with the original frontman with the one with the chainsaw on the cover. I can't think of the name of it. Ribbon. It's they're pretty much Canadian Slayer. So I'm gonna go with Razor. Hmm. I've never heard them either of Me them. Either. So I'm gonna just uh, just give the thumbs up and a maybe, yes, maybe a wink or something. Okay. All right. <laughs> that one's for that. <laughs> um, Annihilator or Voivod? Dude, I'm gonna say Voivod. Voivod. I. Uh, Oh, dude. Annihilator. I love Annihilator's early albums, but Voivod... Voivod is, just kicks ass. Voivod's... Voivod... I mean... Um, yeah, Voivod. Yeah, we, we saw him with Revocation last year, and they... Ooh, ooh. They're they, Canadian, aren't they? They are fiercely Canadian. Yep, I'm going with Canada. Alrighty. Canada it is. Ooh. Power Trip or Demolition Hammer? Power, power Trip. Power Trip all day. I love Demolition Hammer's first two albums, but Power Trip is... A, a new tier I, of thrash. I cannot wait for the new power trip. Whenever the hell it comes, but power trip. Power trip. All right. Power trip. Amon and Marth or Behemoth? Behemoth. It. It's gonna be. Behemoth. Uh, depending on what era of Behemoth. It is. There was a time I really loved Amon and Marth, but they've been kind of writing the same album for a while. It works. It I does. like it's mountains to conquer and boats to ride. I like more of Behemoth than I do steer. of Amon and Marth. Yeah, so I'm going to say battle. Behemoth. I'll go with Behemoth because uh, some of those earlier albums really yeah, yeah, just but, got me yeah. into that stuff. I know somebody that would kick my ass. <laughs> right? Uh, Evangelion. Satanist. Yep. Uh, Satanist. Yeah, Satanist. But, but I, Vikings or uh, the devil? I, I Yeah, Behemoth. <laughs> That's, you that's just hard. you that's just sucks. don't want to be beaten to death. I when like you get Marth too. <laughs> Sons of bastards. In flames are at the gates. At the gates. At the gates. Yes. Please at the gates. In flames hasn't been good since what? Clayman, Oracle. Somewhere in Somewhere there. Somewhere in there. Yeah. The re-recorded Clayman. No. Oh god, those Stop. re-recorded <laughs> tracks are terrible. Ooh, Coroner or Dark Angel? Coroner. I absolutely love Corner. I think they're one of the most underrated three pieces in Thrash. Yeah. Dark Angel, awesome. Gene yes. Hoagland, destroying yeah. shit. But Corner. Yeah, Corner's it's a nice addition. I'll say Corner as well. Sure. <laughs> yeah. You sound very, very sure. I'm positive. <laughs> Throw subscribers, be, let it be known, we will educate this man. Or he'll die trying. Or one of us or will he'll die, die trying. trying, or one of us. That I think you're older. I think you're gonna die first. Jim and John will die trying. That's what he's trying to say. Regardless, Nick will die first. I'm good with it. I didn't see a uh, butthole. N- you will. You live with him. All right. <laughs> your day's gonna come. All right. When I think you... that butthole took like ten years off your life. <laughs> well, good. That'll be <laughs> ten years. So he doesn't have to think. Doesn't have to it. think about it. Yeah. That. I'm, oh. I hope it took twenty. I hope I'm. Dead tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Nuclear assault or anthrax? Oh. Anthrax. 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 Yeah. Anthrax. anthrax. All righty. Uh, unanimous. Believer or deliverance? Okay. These are Christian thrash bands. I only know Believer. I'm out. But they are pretty good. I'll, I'll probably just go with Believer just because I actually own some of their albums and they are really good. When I was raised in a, in a Christian home, there still was not much going on for metal outside of tourniquet and impending doom and living sacrifice yeah living sacrifice thing 
Havoc or Warbringer? Warbringer. Ooh, uh, Warbringer. I really like Havoc, too. I do. But Warbringer is solid. But I really like Havoc. No, they're good. They're really good. <laughs> that last record was tits on a boar. Too many tits? Tits on a boar? Too many I don't know. I don't know. Too many I don't know the analogy. When in Rome, Warbringer. <laughs> I don't understand the expression. <laughs> Milk was a bad choice. <laughs> UFO or Scorpions? This is tough because there was the early period of UFO where Michael Shanker was in the band and that's some legendary shit. But the Scorpions have had a much longer sustained, more relevant career than UFO. So for that reason, I'll say the Scorpions. I'll go Scorpions. I love the early stuff. I like the early John Roth stuff. The early John Roth stuff. Take it by force. Incredible album. Scorpions. Virgin Killer. Yeah. Not putting that album cover up. No. <laughs> you should, probably shouldn't. No. Yeah. I'll, I'll say the Scorpions. Good for you. Eh. I know it's not really your Right, it's not really my bag, but I'm, I'm more aware of the Scorpions material than I am of UFOs, so that. Arch Enemy or Ginger? Arch Enemy. Arch Oof. Enemy all the way... Oof. Until the uh, most until recent the, until stuff. Until the most recent stuff, so... If we're counting recent stuff, then I'm, I'm gonna say Ginger, Arch, but if we're counting the entire back Arch catalog, Enemy with Angela. Yeah. Arch Rise Enemy. of the Tyrant was the yeah. last really halfway decent Arch Enemy album. Did you go to that show, Arch Enemy and Slayer? The no. Yes. Get I know I, you did. I did. And Hatebreed? Yes. I saw them on Oz Fest. Yes. I want them both to punch me and take me. <laughs> Where are they taking you? To Valhalla. So if you're watching, uh, he wants taken. I guess I would say catalog-wise, Arch Enemy, but Ginger's fucking evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mudvayne or Static X? All right. Oof. Oof. I, I have to say the first Mudvayne record was How about the first Mudvayne versus the first Static X? Oh, <laughs> okay. So if you want to... two Static X are great. I oh, love those Oh, man. I, I have to say Mudvayne. I was a gigantic Mudvayne fan. I'm going to go Static X. Those first two albums I jammed relentlessly, and honestly, the follow-up to LD50 was... Yeah, that record's, that record's kind of meh. LD50 was really good. LD50 was <laughs> awesome. I, I still jam that record on a somewhat frequent basis. I love that album. I Quit yelling at me, you dumb stereo. I enjoy Wayne's Static, and half of Mudvayne was half of Hell Yeah, so for that reason, I throw Mudvayne to the side and off a cliff and go Static X, because Jay Hell Yeah sucks. Jay Bird. Yeah, no, definitely. It's aggressive. It's aggressive. Hell Yeah. Static X was good live. Yes, oh, they were they were I, awesome when you guys opened for him, yes. I got God. I guess I gotta go Mudvayne because LD50 is really good. It yep. is. Yep. Static X is good. This is unfair. I don't like you, sir. Sir, Where you are. Yeah, who are incredibly long. Who are we even talking to anymore? Uh, Metal, Metal Mayhem six six six. Could be a guy or a girl. Genderless anomaly. Genderless Satanist. Your All right. trickery. Laz Rocket or Metal Church? Metal Church. I have no idea who in the ever loving hell Laz Rocket is. So I do, I know who they are. Metal Church. LA Thrash Band. I actually like uh, Laz Rocket. I'm not familiar with all of Metal Church's records. I only had one, and I think I gave it to someone or sold it years and years and years and years ago. <clears throat> so I'm going to go Laz Rocket just because I like the two albums that I own, which I believe are the first two. I don't know. And that's okay. And that's okay. And that's okay. Yep, it's totally fine. Accept or ACDC? ACDC, sure. I mean, ACDC. I'll, I'll give them. Yeah. I'll give them one. Yep. They deserve one. ACDC because <clears throat> they're from America. Y yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yep, sure. They sure are. Sure no. Yep. That's sure. Right. Forbidden or Heathen? Heathen. I love Heathen. I do love Heathen. Their second album yep. is absolutely incredible from start to finish. And Lee Altus is also in Exodus, and he shreds alongside Gary Holt. Cred. Ooh. I, I'm with Red on this. We're kind of like, eh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. so yeah, we're we're kind of eh, blah, 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 so cool. Feel free to move on. Agnostic Front or Cryptic Slaughter? Eh, I'm still eh, blah, blah, blah. Cryptic Slaughter. Yeah, Cryptic Slaughter. We do. I, I don't like Roger Moraes or Marit or whatever yeah. he pronounces his last. I don't he like his voice. He will punch me in the face either way. He will punch me in the face, but I... <laughs> I don't like 
it, it's just it's really off putting. Music's usually really good though. I'm more familiar with Agnostic Front, but I've heard good things. Uh, I'll go Agnostic Front. All right, very well. The Accused or Ludacrist? <laughs> I no clue. No. The Accused. The Accused, because I have no idea who Ludacrist is, but I'm probably gonna look. Martha Splatterhead, hell of a mascot, mm -hmm. and yeah, these those guys are just insane splatter thrash punk. I love them. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> neat. You probably do you know or do you not know? I don't know. Okay, no, cool. God no. All right, very good. Chromags or wasted youth? Chromags. I like Chromags for yeah. sure. Chromags hot times. Toxic Holocaust or municipal waste? That's tough. Municipal uh, waste. Toxic Holocaust. Yeah, dude, seeing Toxic Holocaust. Well, shit. Joel Grind really plays everything. <laughs> and yes. he writes everything, and it's fucking awesome. We saw him with Nails. That and, was, yep, and Gate Creeper. And Gate Creeper, yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, they, they man, I really like Municipal Waste. But toxic Holocaust, I'm going to say, only because I just recently became familiar with Municipal Waste, at least all the way. It was. Uh, when we saw him live with yep. Napalm Death, so... I've seen him twice. Um, yeah, Toxic Holocaust. I'd say Municipal Waste. Hey. Also a good time, man. Oh, yeah, you really that must not lose her here, because they're so much that fun. That show is so awesome. Isn't every song about beer? Pretty much beer or punching something. When they threw the trash can into the, into the <laughs> audience. Yeah, that was pretty entertaining. The bottle plate. Yes. Plastic bottles. Yeah, plastic bottles. <laughs> Thank God the venue thought ahead and gave us plastic bottles. This would be bad otherwise. Crowbar or I Hate God? Wow. Crowbar. Crowbar, for sure. Crowbar. Only because I Hate God didn't have that many records. And, uh, they didn't and, have Kirk. They didn't have Kirk. And... Crowbar just keeps delivering a beating, regardless. This sucks, but Crowbar. Yeah, you know it. Even you though, know it to be true. Even though. You know it to be true. Yeah. Crowbar's awesome. Yep. Down or super joint? Down, down. Down, hands down. Down, hands down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. I, I mean, I... It's not even close. I liked the first super joint when it came out. Yep. In fact, I liked the second Still one, great. too. Um... And I've seen him a few times live, yep. and I don't think Phil knew where he was. He when, had no idea. When we saw Super Joint. But that's but, fine. But, you don't need to know where you are. But Down, that first Down album, will always be amongst my... Two is amazing also. Yeah, yep. the first, yep. the first couple also of them. also over the under. Okay. Yep. Uh, Mekong Delta or Queensryche? Queensryche. 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 I'm not terribly familiar with Mekong Delta. I'm not but either. I know Queensryche. Jet City Woman. Mm -hmm. Yes. Actually, that's the next one. <gasps> rush or yes? As hard as this one is, rush. Yeah. Still rush. Still rush. Adore yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 The band. Yes. Yes. Correct. <laughs> My mom. Uh, she was the one that introduced me to yes. That's one of her favorite bands. She got to see him live. I think with Hawkwind too. And they've always been a part of like my musical background, but Rush is the best three-piece band that probably ever existed. And I gotta go with Rush. Rush. Yes. Yes. Ramones or Descendants? Ramones. Descendants. Ramones. Ramones. Yeah. Descendants. I, I, I'm not a huge Ramones fan. They, there's three chords amongst all yeah. 50 of their songs. Yeah. It's punk. I know, and, but... And I I'm think not even the punk descendants, guy. Descendants are better punk. And every time I say something about punk, you're like, oh, it's th it's th just three riffs, man. But now Descendants are better with those three okay. chords. That, right. Sure. I'm not a punk fan. I'm not really either. Yeah, right? I'm really not. Two but I still listen to Jam the Ramones. Six minutes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And sing most of them. That's like four agoraphobic nosebleed albums. Yeah. Tenacious D or Steel Panther? The D. Tenacious D. I enjoy I'll, Steel I'll Panther right. a lot, but Tenacious D, I mean... Tenacious. Jack Black rules. Jack yep. Black does rule. That first Tenacious Kyle D rules. album. Kyle rules. rules. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Come on, KG. It's time to blow doors down. Avatar or Karak Angren? Avatar Karak Angren. over Angry Crotch. Karak Angren. I don't really like I don't Avatar, like Avatar, Avatar at all. all it's, but it feels like new metal rehash. I, I saw him open up for Seven Dust, and I was just like, nah. Some people really like him, though. Yeah. I don't even know. Some people do, but I do not. And I've never heard Karak Angren. 
So, I know nothing. Yep. Uh -huh. Danzig Misfits or Graves Misfits? Danzig. Danzig. It's the only Misfits. Danzig, yeah. baby. As far as I'm concerned. And he has my permission to go out and kill tonight. True. Yes, he does. He has to ask. Yep. Or he can't do it. Motorhead or Saxon? Lemmy wins all. Motorhead. Yeah, Motorhead. Lemmy wins all. Trick question, dickhead. Lemmy is God. <laughs> and Saxon. <laughs> Lemmy is Saxon. Yep. He's a pig. <laughs> Typo negative or fear factory? Type O. Uh, typo negative. That's kind of. You're It's kind of shitty. Again, typo. Fear factory for me. I love it, Pete, and I miss you, Pete, but I gotta go fear factory. Mm -hmm. I gotta go typo. Yes. Got to. Even though sometimes Burton makes me quiver a little bit, <laughs> but not as much as Pete makes me quiver. Pete makes everyone quiver. I mean, I'm And woman and, well. Well. No. He shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Next question. <laughs> ministry or KMFDM? Well, ministry. Yeah, I ministry. love KMFDM, but ministry. Uncle Al. Nine Inch Nails or a perfect circle? Nine Inch Nine Nails. Inch nails. Nin. Yes. Nin. Yes. Acid Bath or Electric Wizard? Ooh. I gotta go with Acid Bath. I first said when we discussed this Electric Wizard, but I'll, I'm, I think I'm changing my tune to Acid Bath as well. I'd, Dax is an awesome vocalist. Man, those... They only had two albums, and they were both brilliant. Yep. Yeah. So that, yep. that adds up. Yep. And all the album covers were painted by serial killers. Yeah. So there's that. And here's one that Nick and I had tickets to see both bands. Sacred Reich or Violence? With or without that man that I do not like. Hmm. Well, he doesn't... He just plays yeah. guitar in that band. He doesn't yeah, sing. Yeah, he doesn't sing. I gotta go with Sigurd Reich. Ignorance and Surf Nicaragua, I think are just absolutely underrated thrash gems. I jammed Sigurd Reich for one of the first times before we were gonna go to that show, and I really, really liked it. Uh, of course, jammed Violence a bunch too because we were gonna go see him. I hate that there are no shows. I'm gonna say Sacred Reich. Sacred Reich, sure. I'd have to say say Sacred Reich too. Phil yep. Rind? Yep. Ha ha! Ha 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 Phil Rind's vocals are the prototype for every tough guy local band metal vocal. Yeah. yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, I'm shaking in a band! Yeah. Hmm. But, you know, he does it well. Next in line, we have Sadis or Flotsam and Jetsam. Sadis. I love Steve DiGiorgio's bass work, and that's where it pretty much started. Flotsam and Jetsam, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Squid band, yeah, it is. Flotsams. And the Jetsons? The Jetsons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, did everybody answer this then? Did you? I did. I said Flotsam and Jetsam. Okay. All right. Ex Mortis or Skeleton Witch? Skeleton, Skeleton Witch. Witch. Skeleton Witch. Skeleton, Skeleton Witch. Witch. This next one's kind of hard. I don't uh, like it. Two Molder Gate Creeper. That's not fair. I'll say Gate Creeper. I love them both. I do. I do too. I love them both. I'm going to say Two Mold, but I really like Gate Creeper. But I really like Two Mold. I got to go with Two Mold. Uh, yeah, that they're just incredible writers, and my God, did they just crush it live. Mm -hmm. Not that Gate Creeper is not killer live. Yeah, because they are as well. They're better live than you'll hear them on any album. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, that sound is way better live. Of course, I think Tomb Mold. Yeah. The, yeah. the guitar tone of Tomb Mold is better live, too. I'm sticking with Tomb Mold. I'm sticking with Tomb Mold as well. I hang my head in shame. Okay. We're going to show him those bands. We'll, yeah, he'll like them. He'll get there. Ghoul or Cannabis Corpse? <sighs> cannabis Corpse. Cannabis Corpse. I love Ghoul and Cannabis Corpse too, but uh, dude, I'm, I'm gonna go with Ghoul just by a little bit. I just think the the whole comedic story behind all their characters, they're pretty much another Guar except thrash here and makes in death metal. I, I love Ghoul, they're great. I like Ghoul, I've seen them live. I'm envious. Neat, Yeah. with who? I don't know. Cool. Like Guar, right, then they open for Guar? Possibly. That would make sense. I'm pretty sure I've seen them though. Yeah, the hoods over their face. Yeah. Blood splat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's 100% yeah, yeah. ghoul. Nile or Hate Eternal, this sucks. 
Nile. Nile. Nile because there's Be- more. Because I really like Eight Eternal, but Nile has pound for pound ounce for ounce. Yes. Yes. Nile. Nile. <sighs> I know. God. You. Ooh. Ooh, you dirty, yeah? You, you can't comment on the next one. <laughs> uh, guar or ghoul? Guar. That's guar. guar. Yeah. Yeah. That was easy, yeah? Yep. Candlemass or cathedral? Candlemass. 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 I'm going to say cathedral. Ooh. I like Lee Dorian, but man, he can be kind of goofy. I'm more familiar with cathedral. Raider or Invicta? No okay. clue. I... I I nope. just got a band cool. called Raider. I don't know if that's the same one you're talking about. They were good. And Invicta, I want to say I've heard of them, but I've never heard them. Never heard of either. So yeah. Yeah. Sorry, nothing's yeah. really ringing a bell there. Yep. Yeah. 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 We're out. ZZ Top or Molly Hatchet? ZZ, ZZ Top. Top. Jeepers. Molly Hatchet had, what, three songs? You're really flirting with disaster over there, aren't you? True. Man? They were only flirting with three songs, though. It's ZZ true. Top had albums that were just absolutely killer from start to finish. Maybe, Maybe Molly Hatchet did. Maybe if Molly Hatchet didn't shave. I don't know. No. Molly Hatchet wins on album covers, though. Texas. Yeah. Tejano. Trace Ombres. Okay. So because of all the excellent and awesome response from all of you guys on this video, we're actually going to break it down into a two-parter. So we're going to end right here and throw the next one at you in a little bit. So if you like what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button because we do shit like this all, all the fucking time. time. And... From all of us to all of you. A very Merry Christmas. And a big dating game kiss. Ready? 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 Mwah!